Well, hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Um, fun story about this build. Uh, I built this twice. Uh, the first time I built the whole exterior and then I took a break and then somehow the house didn't save or something. I don't remember. And then uh, the second time I completely decorated the whole thing, saved it and then when I went to look it wasn't saved. It wasn't on my hard drive or my computer. Um, so this is the third time I'm doing this. Um, so instead of putting myself through the whole pain of making the house again, I just decided to decorate it. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, I still really like the way it turned out. I tried to keep it as much as I could remember uh, from the first one with some like different things. Um, but I decided to do a 70s themed house. Uh, I was thinking about trying to do like the That 70s Show house, but I was like, there's no way, like I, I don't have that skill. Um, so I just decided to do a 70s themed house and I tried to do as much as I could. Like I'm not very familiar with the 70s style of things and I feel like a lot of Google searches pop up with like the 70s like modern, like not suburban, just regular family houses. It's like weird LA 70s mansions and stuff. So I was trying to think of like, what would just a regular family in the 70s have? Um, so I did my best to recreate that. And I really like the way this turned this house turned out, even though I had to do it so many times. I, <laughs> I by this time I was like, I almost just gave up, but I really love this house. And so I was like, I have to do it, just get it over with, decorate it, it's fine. And so I did, and it really wasn't that bad. Um, the only thing that sucked was I spent three hours doing it um, on the deleted recording. Um, oh, here's what happened. I just remembered. The first time I did it, I started it and stopped the recording, and then when I went to re-record it, I built the rest, and it turned out it wasn't recording, so I just deleted the whole house, and then the second time the recording didn't save, and now here's the third time, and if something goes wrong, I'm going to lose my mind, but knock on wood, I think it's going to work out well. Um, so, <laughs> that being said... I really like the style of this house. Um, I tried to stay with kind of like the closed concept and then made like a formal dining room with patterns and like, I don't know, it, like I said, it was super hard to find inspiration photos just because of the fact that like, if you look up 70s house, it's like the very modern looking ones and that's just not, not what I wanted to go for. I wanted to go for family. Um, so I took a little bit of inspiration from what I can remember on that 70s show and uh, and I called my dad. Well, here's the story. I texted my dad because upstairs in the kids' bedrooms I wanted to put um, radios. But then I was like, I was trying to Google <laughs> when radios were invented. Um, and it said the 1920s, but to me that didn't feel right. It is right, but to me it just didn't. And so... I texted him and was like, hey, were radios around in the 70s? And he was like, what? Yeah, of course they were. And I was like, yeah, but like what I meant was digital. I meant digital radios, right? But I said electric radios. <laughs> so he calls me and he's like, what do you mean? Of course they were. We had electricity. We also had indoor plumbing in case you were curious, which I thought was funny. Um, but I guess... Like, I just meant, like, digital ones and CDs, because CDs, I looked this up, weren't invented until 1979, and even then they weren't really a common thing. It was more like cassettes and tape decks and things like that, that people would listen to music on, that and records. <laughs> um, so, long story short, radios were around, they were the dial kind, they were not electric, and CDs weren't invented until 1979. So, <laughs> uh, in the bedrooms, there are, like, radios that look like CD players, but I just, I did my best to be factually accurate. <laughs> um, so, this is a three-bedroom house. Uh, there's two kids' rooms and then a master bedroom. There's also two and a half baths. Um, and with this bathroom, I was going to do, like, an avocado bathroom, uh, but I decided that probably wouldn't have been a thing in just like a family home. Uh, so I didn't. And this is the bedroom. The kids' bedrooms I love so much. I think they are adorable. Um, I made them 
like the girls, this is like the girls' bedroom. It's got like beads on the windows and like floral wallpaper and it has like CDs and nail polish and like, I don't know. I tried to make it very teen 70s. That teen 70s bedrooms were something you can Google and like actually find accurate things unlike living rooms and things like that even if you look up like 70s exterior a lot of them are like wild homes like definitely not I mean maybe a family home but like not the suburban like split level type of home I was going for um even though it's not a split level home but I did I did what I tried to do I guess um <laughs> was uh outside I raised some of the lawn up so that way like it looked kind of split level so you have to like walk up there's like two different lawns and one of them's raised and then I did like a little overhang part of the house which I feel like kind of gives like a little bit of the split lovely vibe I wasn't going to try that hard to do a split level oh and at the end of this video you'll be able to see screenshots of the outside since I didn't show me building it and so for the teen boy bedroom, I guess it doesn't have to be a teen boy. It could be a teen girl, just a child. I don't know. Um, I tried to go with like a music-y theme and I tried to put clutter. This is the first time I've ever used like the floor clutter and like piles of laundry and things like that. Um, because I don't really know how they work. I didn't play test it. So I don't know. I think you can just walk through it, but I don't know. I've never used it. So hopefully it didn't break all the items in there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, and this build will be up on the gallery. My username is Miranda May 13. Um, make sure you turn bb.moveobjects on before you place it. So that way all my atoms are placed the way I place them. Uh, I feel like I said that really weird. <laughs> um, and I'm just doing the master bedroom right now. Um, Oh, and then here's a fun part. I put carpet in the master bedroom because I know that was a thing back then. And I didn't put it in all of the bathrooms. Did I just say the master bedroom or the master bathroom? I meant the master bathroom just in case. Uh, but I put carpet in the master bathroom because that used to be a trend back then. I remember my mom would always tell me about how she had a carpet in the seven or a carpeted bathroom in the 70s. I really hope you guys enjoyed, um, especially since this took me so many times to make. I, <laughs> it was a nightmare for sure, uh, but I'm very glad that I finally have a finished project product. <laughs> um, like I said, you can find this on the gallery. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.